In today's video, I'm going to be renovating green clean janitorial services, also known as the janitor's job in Blocksburg. So if you didn't know, there's a janitor job in Blocksburg and the little shop is located right behind BFF supermarket. So it's pretty secluded and pretty much what it is, is just like a cleaning company. And as you can see on the inside, there's really not much going on. We have this angry man over here. He looks miserable. He, he does not want to be here at all. So are you okay? And then we have back here, which is kind of like the storage unit where we have all the cleaning supplies supplies and that's literally it also sorry if my voice sounds weird i have influenza and um that's why i haven't been posting every day but i'm trying so don't judge my voice as you can see it's not a very big building so i'm not going to make it very big myself it only needs to be like a little small building either way i'm gonna add like a bunch of laundry mats see like something like this is kind of cute i feel like it's missing a lot of cleaning supplies in here especially for a job so let's get started okay so this is what the town's looking like so far and as you can see guys we only have room for literally one more building which is going to be the janitorial service and then after that we're going to have to move on to another plot because we have run out of space i feel like i should have mapped it out better but like how would i know that i would start a series out of this i put pizza planet in the most awkward spot like look at this okay so let's just get straight into it so i've kind of like mapped out where i want the what's it, what's it even called again i totally blanked out and forgot what it's called like green clean has any does anyone actually call it green clean i've mapped out where I want the green clean building obviously as you can see it's very small but I feel like that's what you need you know it's it's not too big neither is the original building so that's kind of what we're working with now obviously the doors are going to be at the front here these spaces is where I'm going to put like the washer and dryer this little two by one is just going to be like the little reception desk and I might add some sinks here or some more storage I'm not sure and then back here is where the towels and all the cleaning supplies are gonna go I don't know I might change it as we go so we'll just see what happens and this is what the original green clean janitorial service shop looks like i don't know if i really want to use these bricks i feel like because it is a cleaning like company service it should be very modern and very clean like lots of white so what i'm actually going to do is add some skylights in the middle here to give it some extra light that come into the building so something like that and then we can put a flat glass roof like in the middle here honestly this will probably look silly but like oh well okay let's have a little squiz okay see how it kind of like adds light to the building so it's not too dark so i think that's what i'm gonna stick with okay now for the outside i'm gonna stick to like a nice white marble brick i feel like i haven't used this marble brick before so it's definitely new and also i feel like it just gives like a nice clean vibe and then for the roof i'll just leave it like the way it is normally which is as you can see like a dark slate my cats are fighting in the other room and i literally physically cannot go help them because i feel so sick right now <laughs> you guys do not understand i wasn't even gonna film a video i haven't been filming like a video for a couple days but i um have some videos scheduled but there will just be some days where i literally physically cannot i feel so bad when i don't post for you guys because i don't know i just love you guys and i feel bad okay now for the door i might just use this commercial sliding door i feel like it fits like perfectly let's have a look oh it does okay we'll just use this door then and we might just leave the color the color looks pretty cool we also need a sign up here that says like green clean janitorial services oh my gosh guys can i just copy hairstyle studio <laughs> i can't be bothered to make another one wait i feel like this is way too big wait hold on is this cheating if i just copy it and then i lift it up like this are you mad at me if i do that you know what I'm going to do it. Okay, just pretend that doesn't say Styles Hair Studio. It says Green Clean Janitorial Services. I'm not calling that all the time. What else? Okay, guys, what's another name we can call this place? Uh, Simply Green. No, the janitor's office. You know what? I'm just going to call this the janitor's office. Why? I don't know why. Obviously, I want to stick to the same color concept as I do with all my renovation videos. So Green Clean is obviously, well, <laughs> it doesn't really have a color scheme, just green. Guys, I... <laughs> I'm so sick. I tried to spell vage. I mean, what? I tried to spell vase and it just came out that. Okay. Alaska, what are you doing, girl? Okay, wait, maybe something like that. And then I can put little curtains above that. Guys, I'm copying this again. This is cheating. I'm not sure. I should not be cheating. I should not be copying everything. Okay, so pretty much what I'm going to do is put curtains above these windows. And all you have to do to make curtains, like these custom curtains, is place down a convex straight basic shape. And if you have the 
transform tool. You have to lift it up so it's just above the window like this. And then you have a little curtain and you can paint it whichever color you like. But if you don't have the transform tool, you can make it another way. Um, all you need is advanced placement. And what you do is paste a cube like this. And then you lift a cube up like here. And then you put a little carpet above that basic shape. And then you put this convex straight right there. And then you just delete the carpet and the basic shape. And there you go. You have your cute little window. Okay, I think the outside's looking pretty cute. Now we just need some greenery. Actually, I have an idea. So... What I'm going to do is put these oak shelves underneath the windowsill. Add a bunch of like hanging plants. Okay, cute. It's scurly pop. Okay, there we go. It's not looking too bad. Now, obviously, we need some windows on the other side of the place. I might just add these wide commercial windows on the side. Okay, now let's work on the inside, shall we? I'm just going to stick to a very modern theme. So, I'm thinking like marble and like lots of tiles. Oh, wait, these tiles are kind of cute. Then the rest of it can just be like concrete and and marble wall trims. Now for the fun bit, which is adding all like the laundry mat. I can't believe they didn't have like washers and dryers. Should I use the very expensive two grand ones? I will never cheap out on a build challenge, okay? Two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and then a few more on this side. So it's kind of like an aisle. Okay, that one has six and this one has seven. So that can just kind of be the washer and dryer. And we'll just make them all white. Oh, there we go. It's looking real fancy. Okay, and I don't like how there's kind of like gaps in between these washer and dryers. So I'm kind of just going to fill that up with a basic shape. And kind of just place it at the back here. Guys, what's like your favorite TV show? Or like favorite movie? I need movie slash TV show recommendations right now. Because I'm sick. I can't leave the house. I have nothing better to do. So please tell me your favorite TV show. And I will watch it. Guys, why? Is this basic shape like doing backflips right now? It feels like I'm doing mathematical equations every time I pull out this transform tool. Okay, there we go. I think that's the back of it done. As you can see, it looks very, very cleaner than um, if it didn't have the basic shapes kind of covering it. And that way we can add some more things on top of this. Okay, there we go. That's our little laundromat aisle. <gasps> Are you kidding me? Guys, apparently I can't place things on top. Are you serious? Don't be messing with me. Oh my lord. Okay, let's see if this works. Okay, I can put a toilet on top of it which means it works yay okay actually you know what instead of making this like a boring white like wood like that actually do they have those baskets they have these laundry baskets and i feel like i don't use these much often so we can place a few up here without making it look too messy maybe some on like the floor as well and then some like towels okay i feel like that's enough without making it look messy okay now over here is where i want to have like the sink so we'll put some counters on top of here we'll just add these nice like modern counters and we'll just have like three and we'll add these double sinks because I feel like they suit the vibe a little bit more and I'm gonna stick with the whole wooden countertop theme because I actually really like that and you know what maybe for the sinks they can be like gold they can have gold sinks it's a very fancy laundromat okay okay now here's obviously where I want to have the little reception desk so we can have like a little office chair here and then instead of like your typical table because obviously if you add a normal table right into the door you can just use like a basic shape and kind of slim her down, make her skinny. There we go. We have our little desk moment. The only problem is there is no way of getting in and out. So I guess once you work here, there is no escaping. Oh, we can add like a little door there. It will lead out to the road, which is kind of dangerous, but that's life. We can have just like a little standard door here. Wait, that door looks stupid. Why did I pick the ugliest door? And then finally a little painting on the front here that says like, hey now. Also, I feel like we're missing a little bit of storage where we can have like all the soaps in that. So I'm just gonna fill this storage with like soap. There we go. That is the fanciest soap stack you're ever gonna see. And we'll add one over here as well. There we go. I feel like that's enough. Oh my god, you know what we also need here? Like a mat because I feel like there could be a few spills or slips. Also, I'm thinking maybe add a few stools behind the laundromat here because like while people wait for their clothes to wash or dry, maybe they can like sit down and read a little magazine. Let's add some like magazines up here and maybe get rid of these paintings and just add like a stool. Oh, we can add this rustic bench that actually looks kind of nice. We can add it like all along this section and then we can put like some more books underneath here just in case people get bored. There we go. Okay and for this section back here it's kind of just going to be like one big wall. So this is where we're going to stick all the vacuum and the mops. Okay so I already have like a relative idea for what I want to do and once I do it on one I can just start
stack them on all three. Okay, so what we're going to do is put a ironing board in the back corner here. Then we can have the cleaning equipment, which is a muppet, which is a muppet, which is a bucket and a mop. So maybe we can add like two of them. And now to cover this up a little bit, we can put this empty large oak bookcase right here. So as you can see, you can still see the ironing board, but like it looks a little bit more neat. And then we can put these wooden storage cubes down the bottom here. Okay, and to kind of make this a little bit more bright, we can add LED lights inside of the storage unit. Now we can just add more like soap and boxes in here. You know what I just realized? Bloxburg doesn't have vacuums. Why do they not have vacuums? Okay, now finally we just need a clothing rack. We'll just put it in like the corner like that and then just stack like the rest of this shelf with towels and like linen. Okay, I think it's relatively done. I'm just gonna add one more stack of clothing up the top here. Okay, now I feel like it's done and for the doors, I already know what doors I want to use. <laughs> I want to use these very tall frosted double glass doors and then we'll just add like a little geometric chandelier. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is just copy that same concept and add them all along here. Okay, so the green clean janitorial services building is done. <laughs> I still don't know what to call it. I think this renovation actually turned out pretty nice. Like we didn't have like a massive space to work with, but it looks like very like nice and clean. So obviously this is the outside. We have the iconic decal and then some plants. And then here we have a bunch of like washers and dryers. I honestly think this is like my favorite part of the entire thing. We have like a bunch of soap options and like a bunch of towels, baskets. And then over here is where we have like the books and a little like sitting area just in case people want to like sit down and read a book while they're waiting for their clothes to dry. And then over here is where we have the sinks and just some more soaps. And oh my gosh, guys, I forgot to change this decal. So yeah, just a bunch of more sinks and soaps. And then here is kind of where like the reception desk is. There's really like no way of going in and out. There's also like room prices. So like if you want your room or your house clean, these are the prices. And then if you're working here, obviously this would be your way in and out. And these rooms back here are all relatively the same. They're kind of just like a standard. I don't know. I don't know really what you'd call this, but yeah, as you can see, they're literally all, <laughs> all the same. But yeah, this is how it turned out. I think it turned out really nicely. And we have a little weirdo watching me on the roof there. Anyway, guys, that was me renovating Janitor's job in Bloxburg. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I will see you in the next one. Bye.